Hello everyone, this is Aaron again. I want to talk to you about a problem I ran into. Uh, try to correct it in case you decide to do what I did. I purchased and did a video on this particular um, bottle. This is a 4,500 PSI um, carbon bottle that I purchased on eBay. I purchased with the intent of filling my gun up in the field. Um, oftentimes I'm out there and I stay for hours and I find my, my gun getting low. I never bring air with me because I hate to bring that big tank with me. So I purchased this to take care of that. And when I purchased it and got it, uh, then I had to, of course, get a fill port. So I bought this fill port here for it. And uh, you screw it on like this here. And then you're able to gas your gun and bleed it here. But at the time, I made a big mistake. And I noticed you guys that know anything about this tank and uh, about the system that's on the top of it here. This thing here is a regulator. It's regulated to keep pressure at a certain constant place for the paintball gun. This one here is regulated to 800 PSI. So although there's 4,500 PSI in here, it will only let out 800. So I put this on and I'm trying to feel my gun. The gun won't feel. I'm like, what the heck? What's going on? So I went and did my research, which I should have did in the first place. Shouldn't have, never assume anything. Do your research. Did my research and found out what this thing did. It, they, I found out about the 800 PS, PSI. I thought it would be putting out all 4,000, and I could just stop it as I do when I'm, when I'm doing my other guns. So now that has led me to what? Now this has to be replaced. Now they do make these in a 3,000 PSI. That's the, that's the biggest one I can find. They make this in a 3,000 PSI uh, regulator. So. You've got 4,500 in here, it's going to let out 3,000 PSI into your gun and then it's, uh, it's not going to, this regulator is going to stop it at that point, which is fine for me. Uh, my guns are, uh, all my guns are 3,500, but I can go with 3,000 easily, you know, when I'm, when I'm down to like uh, 150 PSI, I mean 1,500 PSI. To get it back up to 3,000 would be keeping me in the field. And I'm not sure how many times this is going to fill it, but once is enough for me. So what I had to do now, now, is I have to go out and I have to purchase something to replace this. And so I went online and I found it. Uh, I found a system here that will put out, uh, it's, it's max pressure that it can hold, it's 4,000 PSI. It's going to let out 3,000 PSI. And so now all, what I need to do is change these two. Once I exchange these two, then I'll be able to fill my guns. So I wanted to, to do this just for the people out there who might want to do what I did and, and maybe go with a little bottle and go in the field. You may see that video and decide that this is all you need to do is purchase one of these and one of these and you're, and, and, you're, and you're off and running and you're not. And I tried to find a video on how to take this, this regulated stuff out of here. Couldn't find one. Decided not to mess with it because when you mess around with 4,500 PSI, you really don't want to play with stuff and you do not know what you're doing. So I just made the purchase. So now basically I've already loosened this, so basically it's as simple as this. I would take this one here, I've already loosened, and it screws out. And it has, a, uh, it has an o ring on it to make sure you have no leaks. You want to test for leaks anyway once you're, done, once you're done with it. Take that one out, it's as simple as this. You take this one, you, you pop this one in, uh, torque it down, fill it, check for leaks, and you're good to go because once this one is in, and you fill this bottle with 4,000 PSI, pop this off, screw this on. Now finally, when I do this, finally in the field, I will be able to now go into the field and fill my gun to 3,000 PSI. And I don't know how many times, but a few times. So this is just a short video, uh, and I'm going to come back and fill the gun for you, but after I pump this thing up. but. Uh, this is just a video to warn those of you who may have seen my video and might want to do this. If you buy this bottle, you're going to have to buy this regulator that puts out 3,000 uh, PSI into your gun. Okay? All right. And I, I found this on eBay. Uh, if you, I know there's probably not many people out there concerned about it, but if you are, uh, say something in the comments and I'll tell you where I got it at and, uh, and what the price was. I think it was like $34, so it wasn't bad. So with that, I'm going to finish putting this thing together. I'm going to blow it up and then come right back and I'll show you 
um, where we are at that point. All right. Well, we're back. I filled the bottle to 3,500 psi. That's about the highest I go. Sometimes I might go 3,700 psi uh, in here. I just don't want to stress my young hinge compressor. I know it's rated to 4,500, but I'm not going to push it up that high. Don't need to. I can feel whenever I want to. But anyway, 3,500 in here. I've been shooting my uh, my 22 cal here um, today, and it's down to about 1,500 psi. Anyway, let's do our first feel with this thing. We're taking uh, this gun from about 1,500 psi. Pop off the protective thing. Pop this on. Which is going to be too bad. I was going to fill the gun on the bipod, but you know, when I'm in the field, I'm not going to have a bipod with me, so I want to fill it realistically. So I would lay it on the side like this, make the connection um, to the field probe at the top here, and then I would fill it from here. It is now filled. Back this off. Pressure off of it. Take out the probe. And we're set. Good to go. Nice little bottle. Uh, one thing I did find though, and I always check that, and I found with everything I've ever ordered. When they put these, they put these things in the factory, I'm not sure if they test it. This has a tiny little leak on it. I'm gonna screw this out. Heavy duty of plumbers, tape around it. Put it back in, it'll be fine. But a tiny, tiny bubble leak there. Other than that, we're all set. When I go to the field now, I'll be able to uh, feel my gun. I think that this gun, it falls off the rig right around 12, 1300 PSI, somewhere in there. But I try to stop it at 15. Anyway, I hope that video was helpful to you. If you did, if you are getting one of those, remember the regulator that comes in it, unless it stipulates that it's a 300 PSI output, it's not going to work. So. With that, another video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope this was helpful to you guys who are interested in this. And uh, keep it safe. Appreciate you.